I knew this 110 would look good pulling that trailer. It's helping me out today. The transmission's good in it. So I'm going to talk a little bit about this transmission. It's the same thing that's in this tractor here. It's a Sunstrand pump with a Dana 20 rear end. That really is a Dana rear end right there. It's pretty cool. On a garden tractor. I think the Cub Cadets, the Hydros, use a very similar setup to this. Okay. Now this tractor here creeps in reverse when you have the lever in neutral. And from what I can tell, to solve that, you loosen this nut and turn this one, and you see it's an eccentric. It changes the pivot point of this plate here, and this is your Ford. And you can kind of see a little neutral mark right there, you see? This right here, that's your neutral position, there's an N. Where's the camera? Here's the camera. See, there's an N right here above my finger for neutral. And this is neutral here. You see, the thing stops moving. So this would be reverse, because it doesn't travel as far. This is your Ford. And what this is doing inside the pump there is, uh, what it is, is it's a rotary nine-cylinder piston pump. And the motor down here is a rotary nine-cylinder motor. They're basically the same thing. And it's got, in the manual, they call it a swash plate. And it actually moves on this pivot right here. This arm right here. Is this a grease thing? No, I guess not. But uh, they call it a swash plate, the thing that moves inside the pump. And what it does is in the neutral position, it's pumping no oil at all. You move it like right here, it's pumping a little bit oil, a little bit more oil, a little bit more oil, and here it's at its full capacity. Here, it's pumping the complete opposite direction. It's pretty cool how it works in the manual there. It kind of really helped me understand how this transmission works. Now the motor has a fixed swash plate that is uh, in a fixed position that can't be moved. But this just changes the flow of oil, which direction it's going and everything. And it reverses and turns it forward. In the neutral position, the swash plate should be 90 degrees to the pump so it pumps no oil and that's why you hear that humming noise that these transmissions make stop when it's in neutral because it's doing nothing it's just spinning this right here from what the manual says is just an auxiliary pump which these two hookups here are for for you know it's a 3 gpm auxiliary pump for just you know the basic hydraulic lift functions on the tractor and your angling cylinders or what have you. So apparently that hydraulic system has nothing to do with this pump on the back here. It's pretty cool how it works, but it uses the the Dana 20 rear end there as your reservoir. Here's your motor right here. It goes down through gears into there, so I mean it is just a bulletproof strong, strong rear end. So now I know how to get the creep out of these from watching videos on YouTube of people doing it, from talking to people, they should be able to get that one creep free. Or pretty close to it anyways. And now I'm going to be putting this engine away in a safe place. Nice engine. Oh yeah, while I'm down here I'll show you the engine that came on that parts tractor. And the reason that I have this right here is it came with this tractor, as did the engine here. That tractor has a crack right down here somewhere from someone over tightening this fitting. However, it doesn't drip a drop and it's apparently been that way for nine years. So this was a spare backup. Now the engine out of my parts tractor, this eight horse caller, is right here. This is all I have of it. And the crankshaft falls out sometimes there is no piston connecting rod I don't even think there's a camshaft in here that's gone yeah she's in pretty sad shape it is a 64 you can tell that it's got the drain coming out the front toward the grill as that tractor there has so I mean it's pretty cool things are going well so that's it for now